Hello everyone, this video is going to be about how to set up a simple web scraper in FME Workbench. The simple web scraper is going to be telling us if an item from an online store is back in stock and send us an email when it is available to be purchased again. Now what is my motivation for doing this? Well, we are in the middle of a freaking pandemic right now, gyms are closed and I can't find free weights anywhere. So I want to know the moment these Bowflex free weights are back in stock so I can purchase them before it sells out yet again. This workflow is super simple and I promise you, you can set up something similar with no code in less than a few minutes with no web scraping experience. So the website I want to scrape is bowflex.ca. And as you notice, we have a message on the site that says this item is out of stock. Now in Chrome, if I right click on my mouse and select inspect, I can see what the CSS selector is and obtain this value. We are simply going to use the div.custom dash message in FME to extract this out of stock text. The star transformer of the show here is the HTML extractor transformer. This transformer allows us to extract that text from the Bowflex website using that CSS selector. So for the HTML parameter, I left it as file or URL. I put in the Bowflex website URL here. We're going to input div.custom-message as a CSS selector option to obtain that text of interest. For a tag part slash HTML attribute, I set it to value so I can return the string. So if we run this part of the workbench, we see that we get the out of stock value, which is coming from the website. So this is good. We actually have successfully scraped that message from bowflex.ca. Now the next transformer I used is a tester transformer to do something when we don't receive the specific message. So I put when the output is not equal to out of stock and select okay. So when we don't receive this out of stock message from the bowflex website, we can do another action. So then I finally used an email or transformer to send an email when this item is no longer in stock since it is connected to my passport. For the email transformer parameters, I put a title that says Bowflex Select Tech 552 Dumbbells is in stock. And my message is reminding me to go to the website to make that purchase. So if we run the full workbench now, we won't receive a notification since the item is still out of stock. I can now simply publish this workbench to FME server and set it to run on the schedule every five minutes and wait eagerly for that email notification for my item to be back in stock. Once I make my purchase, I'll be happy and I will simply turn off this automation when it is no longer needed. So I hope this video was helpful on how to set up a simple web scraper with FME Workbench. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. See you next time.